Hey, what's up? This is Madison, and today I wanna to talk to you about the best advice I ever got when I was teaching myself programming. Uh, if you're a beginner and you're watching this right now, then just a few years ago, I was right where you are. I discovered coding and I loved it, but I didn't have a college degree and I also didn't have any previous coding experience. And I also felt like coding uh, didn't come naturally to me. I felt like I really struggled with it. And so I wanted to figure out the very best advice. I wanted to figure out the most effective learning strategy for teaching myself this stuff. I quickly found out, as you probably did, that there is so much advice out there about learning how to code. It's actually overwhelming the amount of advice that's out there. And people will talk about uh, finding your why and how you need to just build stuff. But today I wanna focus on just one piece of advice that really helped me go from beginner to employed developer. This is advice that I got from the blog of a developer Hasib, and I decided to take his advice because he went on a similar path as me. He didn't attend a boot camp, and neither did I. And he also had the career outcome that I wanted, so he taught himself to code, and he got a great developer job at Airbnb. I'm going to go over this advice, this technique real quick, and I'd also like to invite you to join my free developer community. It is a developer community of all experience levels. We have professional developers in there as well as people who are just getting started, and there is a link below if you'd like to join. Okay, so the technique is to use codewars.com to solve coding challenges. Uh, you might be thinking, okay, this is nothing new, but I want to talk about the specific technique that Hasib recommends and that I found to be really helpful. So you can use any coding website with challenges, but Hasib recommends Code Wars and I also really love it here. So every time you complete a coding problem, you rank up and they present you harder and harder challenges. So these problems should never be easy for you and they will get harder as your skills increase. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into one problem and hit train. And at first I tried to do a problem every single day, but now I do a problem three times a week. And something that Hasib recommends you do first is set a timer for 30 minutes and try to complete this problem. You will probably have the urge to maybe check notifications or Google something to solve this problem, but try to resist that and really just focus on solving this problem the best you can. Now, if you do solve this problem, then that's great, but if you don't solve the problem, then this is what you do. Okay, so you haven't solved this problem and you just couldn't figure it out. And so now you can go here and say, you're gonna forfeit this problem and unlock the solutions. So you're gonna say, show me the solutions. And again, this is if you got stuck on this problem and you just didn't know what to do. Okay, so here we are on the solutions page and the best solutions are upvoted by users depending on best practices and how clever they are and how well written the code is. So this is what you should do next. You look at some of the best solutions. Um, so here's the top one, right? And you try to read it and understand it and make sure you actually understand what this code does and how it solves a problem. Then the next thing that you do is you go back and you try to complete this problem again and you try to implement this best practice solution um, from memory. There are so many benefits to learning how to code this way. So first of all, you get to learn what are the best practices and what is the most elegant way that this code was written. And then you re-implement that and you get to read someone else's code who's much more experienced than you or who knows how to do this problem in a way that was upvoted for best practices. And another benefit is you get to learn all sorts of methods or parts of the language that you maybe didn't know before because you get to read someone else's code and you get kind of to parse that code and understand it. This really helped me, uh, especially now that I work as a developer because uh, doing these problems every day or just a few times a week really gets you better at problem solving. Okay, so that is the technique. 
uh, feel free to comment below or ask a question if you have one. And again, I want to invite you to join my free developer community. The link is below and I hope to see you there soon.